Hi, Franz. Just to start up with, can you tell us what Lock 8 is? So Lock 8 is the first GPS tracked alarm secured bicycle lock. Can you give us a demo? So basically, you take the clamp, mount it onto the back wheel of the bike with four screws, and then you take the Lock 8 box that houses the electronics, slide it on top of the clamp, and an electronic mechanism just locks the locking barrel, which will prevent anyone from removing the box. If somebody tries to hammer it off, hits it, or drills a hole into it, then the light sensor, the vibration detector, the motion sensor, or temperature sensor will trigger a 120 decibel loud alarm. And the owner receives a push notification to his mobile phone. We provide you with different cable sizes. You can get all security levels of cables. You put the cable in here and in here, and then it is interlocking. Through the app, you can lock the cable and alarm it because it's wired and the moment somebody cuts the cable or tries to cut it, it'll equally trigger the alarm. You can share your bike through Facebook, you can lend keys to anyone and you can also rent your bike out for a day or a week or a month. Uh, if you go to other cities, you can also like a car to go, just open the app and see whichever bicycles are around you and then you can book a bike for the time you need. So if I want to rent out my bike to people who are visiting Berlin, what do I have to do? Do I have to pay you? How, how are you making money through that? Or is it a free service if I want to rent my bike? So if you want to rent your bike, you have to get a subscription because that works through GSM. And, um, and that means you have to pay a very small amount per month, which can be cancelled any time. And this kind of idea seems like something that a lot of people would want. And can you explain why it doesn't exist already? We've been asking ourselves the same question uh, and the moment Daniel's and my bike got stolen, uh, we immediately took out our smartphone and started searching for this product and we were astonished that it doesn't exist. So we searched for patents and the way we filed our patent, um, we were very careful in really coming up with something new that combines so many new technologies that, that it's, it's very innovative and it addresses actually the need um, people have. And is there a target market that you're after? The, the target market is people who have, uh, who like their bikes, who have expensive bikes, but also people who have not so expensive bikes and rarely use them, but want to invest into security and then earn the money back by renting out bikes. So we really want, uh, we, have, we have private individuals as target market, but we also have professionals, bike rentals, hotels, hostels, anyone who has a bike fleet in a city. Okay, and how long did it take you to develop the prototype? So basically it took us about half a year to come up with the design and uh, with the first prototype because we changed the design quite frequently. It's, it was very difficult to solve all the prob problems. For example, um, charging. First we considered to charge it through solar power and now we'll be charging it through induction because the way it is mounted between the two stays that connect to the back wheel, you can easily charge it through induction. We'll equip you with reflectors that have built-in magnets and the moment you start cycling you're actually charging the lock. So do you have any competitors? There are tracking devices for bicycles mm -hmm. and uh, they hide in the seat tube for example there are locks that can be opened electronically but there is no internet connected device lock with an integrated solution an alarm a sensor system as we provide it um, that is so complex and has all the functionalities and features. So there's, there's no, virtually no product that has similar features. I know, I have heard of one other Berlin company that's doing something quite similar. It's called Click. Do you know them? Yeah, I know them very well. Michael Usher is doing it. Um, uh, we're, we're in touch and, and talk frequently. It's great to have another company who is in the same space because that means that uh, there is uh, m other people who have the same idea and there is a market need for that. And we, we look forward to have more companies who think, who think about bicycle security and bicycle sharing. Okay, but you didn't get your inspiration from them? No, we didn't get our inspiration from them. We started uh, way earlier last April, in fact, um, with, with Daniel and myself. We didn't know Michael back then, uh, and I don't think they existed uh, when our bikes got stolen in Oxford. So you've competed in quite a few startup competitions lately. Was there any that were a, start, a standout for you? TechCrunch Disrupt was, was incredible. I think that was definitely uh, the 
the best conference for us, not only because we won, but because of all the contacts we made and, and the uh, requests we've been receiving after that. We really enjoyed that one a lot. Although Pioneers and Web Summit in Dublin was also very good fun. But I think for us TechCrunch, due to the fact that we won Disrupt, was, was incredible. And do you think that you're kind of past that phase now where you will take part in these competitions? I think right now we really want to focus on uh, going into production and, and dealing with partnership requests. That's our focus at the moment. Um, we, we can go into more competitions, but I think we really should focus on the company and, and then go into more competitions later on. Okay, thanks for talking to us and good luck with Lock8. Thanks a lot.